looking on finishing at least the deck part of the boat and all the woodwork of it so what we did already there was a kind of junk transom that the guy who i bought this boat from it was already set up like that you can see he's just got a bunch of like scrap wood in there it's rotted out it's probably like 20 plus year old boat um and then these foam blocks that came stock with the crawdad there was two up front there but i took those out so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cut these foam blocks out i already with the jigsaw and again half inch marine grade plywood just like i was talking about um, traced it out on cardboard and then jigsawed out my rough outline and that's going to act as the back deck uh obviously hole in the middle and that's going to be for the mounting brackets for the trolling motor so what we're going to do is we're going to get that back deck on there carpet it um like i said we're going to knock those foam blocks out and then we're going to rebuild the transom and um maybe do some storage or something fancy i'm not too sure yet but um yeah so that's pretty much what i've done to the boat so far and what we're gonna do to it today you guys could see the whole process if you have any questions drop them in the comments and um after this video we're gonna come at you guys with a part two video that's gonna be about the electronics we put in this boat and just some other accessories like an anchor mount and that sort of stuff so thanks for watching guys make sure you drop a like drop a comment and subscribe all right, so the first step is to cut these foam blocks out. What we're gonna try to do first is just go at it with a box cutter and the foam sticks out a little bit past that framing. So we're gonna just make one cut down so we can just lift it right out and then work from there. Second one out. Alright, so now we got the blocks of foam out. Just gonna go ahead and clean up the workspace here and get back to it. Next step's gonna just be clear all this junk out with the um all that scrap wood that was behind the transom and stuff. So we'll get back to you with the next step. So we got the inside transom cut out. Just half inch ring grade plywood oh you can see that there's the back transom same deal marine plywood half inch painted up we're gonna get that painted up got the back deck cut out here and um now we're just drawing up some hatches um, see right there we're gonna put one here one there we're gonna fold up this way that way we can um store baits and whatever else we need and then um got a wall to go down there to block off that's for the build pump and uh yeah we'll get back to you shortly folks at home folks at home first cut with the orbital saw we're gonna make these hatches gonna just make a first cut here and then we're gonna go in with the jigsaw and finish the job Just made a cut on each side with the uh, orbital saw. Now we're gonna go in with the jigsaw, cut these hatches out. First hatch cut out, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side now. Yeah, so we uh, we just got this cut out. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sand down the edges just so it fits a little more flush in there. Get back to it. Making the last cut here with the jigsaw, this little piece, and this is gonna finish the second hatch off.
Yeah. All right, guys, so one option that you could use for this decking, it's not the most permanent solution. Obviously, you could go with a big roll of carpet, carpet glue, and then um, use some clamps to clamp it down. But one option you could do is you could go over to Home Depot or uh, Lowe's, whatever you got in your area, get some of this stuff right here. It's premium self-stick tiles, and this stuff is outdoor green. And basically, this stuff comes in squares, and it has arrows on the back. You don't really need those. Basically, the deal with these things is if you look closely, you can see a bunch of strips, and that's all adhesive strips. So if you want to uh, build your deck out of this, you can grab a couple tiles. Just make sure you got the grain going the right way so you can um, hide that line like we did here on this front deck. And um, this is a clean and simple way to lay your uh, deck carpet down without having to do the whole clamp and carpet deal. Um, we've been using this boat about a year now with no problems using this stuff. So yeah, it's just one option to consider when you're uh, doing a job like this. All right, so um, these two pieces right here are the um, the carpet, and we just put our, our deck on them upside down, and we traced out inside with a Sharpie and all around where we got to cut with the scissors. So, uh, yeah, we figured that would be the easiest way to get this job done. All right guys, so now we're carpeting the back deck. It took uh, two pieces of tile. So I had Colby had one line up for this side. And while he was holding that down, I took the uh, back side off of it and I pressed this tile down. So we got this one adhered now. This one's lined up. Make sure if you're gonna go this route with the tile, make sure you have the grain lined up. That way you can kind of make that line disappear and you won't be able to tell that it's stick on tiles. So now we're going to go ahead and stick this tile down, cut off the excess. We have the hatches cut out, as you can see. After this, we're going to stick these tiles, stick the carpet onto those tiles, install the hatches, and then we'll be good to go. We just have to uh, drill in the back deck after that. So we'll get back to you guys once this part's done. All right, guys, so we just got all the carpet down on the back deck and we got the carpet on the hatches. Uh, it fits like a glove now. We had to cut a bit of excess carpet off the hatches just to get that tight fit. And uh, it's looking good in there now. This bar is gonna go down on top. Um, so now next step is put on these for the hatches. Put on, mount those brackets up and um, yeah, so we, we got our screws here. We're gonna screw those in and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, guys, you're looking at uh, pretty much the finished product here. We got uh, the hinges in, three bolts on each side. Um, see the hinges, uh, we're not putting them down fully yet. We put some Gorilla Glue for added support there and that's drying right now. Uh, but it's pretty much finished. We got this metal bar. This came stock in the crawdad. You really don't need this. You can just kind of drill. There's a bar that comes across the back deck that you can just drill into. But I had this. And um, one nice thing about this is it has a little insert for a plastic piece that comes in the crawdad too that, um, that I also have. So we'll show you that when we put it in. And that's gonna just block the back deck uh, vertically. So now we're just gonna drill some pilot holes, screw this in and we'll be good to go. The next step from there is installation of the back deck and from there we're pretty much done, guys. Good. You can move the lid, it's good. All right, so we finished the back deck with the uh, hatches and everything, so now I just went upstairs and I grabbed an old backpack because I'm a scholar and I have a bunch of them. So now we're gonna use these, um, I don't know, we're gonna use some of the backpack to cut off some uh, pull tabs for the hinges because you're gonna need some pull tabs. So if you got an old backpack or something, what you can do is like measure off. I think we're gonna go with two inches and uh, we're gonna cut some pull tabs so we can screw them into the deck, into the hinges so we can lift up our latches. Um, beats buying something so if you got an old backpack laying around you can just cut something off it and uh 
like I'm doing here. And, um, and there's a pull tab right there for the hinge. That'll go right there. We're going to make another one. And um, just an easy way to lift your hatches up. That's going to go down with one screw right there. And it'll save you some money if you got an extra backpack laying around. Exactly. All right. There you go. All right. Um, <clears throat> we're just finishing up getting the uh, L brackets on. We got two on each side here, two here, two there. Um, yeah, we just got a little 832 nut washer. Screw that down, make sure it's real tight. Um, yeah, we're gonna lay the deck down right here and we're gonna screw wood screws from underneath it. And yeah, that should, that should fasten it down. All right, fellas, so this is the last step here. We're going, we got the L brackets mounted from the side and now we're going under, putting the last screw in. We got a lock washer going in there with that wood screw. Probably can't see too well under there, but uh, got Colby drilling the last screw now. And um, yeah, we're golden there. Oh yeah. That's all she wrote, fellas. And the build's complete. Beach is that way. Got it or you don't.